Okay, I had to start over and cut myself off because I went over the limit. So I'm going to go back again and show you. This is a little light. I think it glows on the bracelet. Like if you get it in your light, then it glows. There's different ones of these. And they're supposed to be like the models of the real Pandora bracelets. But like I said, I would rather not pay $80 for one bead. Those are really nice, but I mean, I've seen them up close, but... I've also been to bead, bead, um, bead shows, bead, mineral, gem shows, stuff like that. And I've learned a thing or two about prices. <laughs> you have to be really careful. And some people, when you go to a bead show, people think, oh, you know, I'll just buy this at this table. But I tell people when they're there, after I've been more experienced, I say, check all the tables before you buy there. Because some people will price things way up high at their table. And um, you could probably get the same thing for less somewhere else at another table or maybe not even at that show at a flea market. The flea markets out here are wonderful. I had, I, I shared this with you guys, but I, um, I also collect fossil charms and the fossil brand charms. I also collect the, um, some Brighton, the old vintage ones. I also collect the, um, of some Disney charms. I also collect, um, well, like a lot of companies. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one. There's another charm that I like. Not Brighton, not, um, it's Fossil, but there was another one that I like a lot. Oh, Juicy Couture. Yeah. I was at a flea market just by chance, and this was years ago here out in Maryland. Couldn't believe it. This lady was selling a lot of the good ones, the vintage ones, for 25 cents each. And I said, are you sure? And she goes, I mean, I shouldn't have questioned it, but I was like, 25 cents? I mean, there's no string attached? You know, she's like, no, just take them. So she, you know, said they're 25 cents. So I bought them all, pretty much. I mean, I had like maybe a copy, and I decided, well, I'll keep that one too. What the heck? So, yeah. I bought some beautiful, almost brand new charms for 25 cents. Those are not cheap charms. If you go in the store, you have to pay an arm, leg, and a toe sometimes for them. Now, of course, not as expensive as, um, well, some of them, yes, they are very expensive. Um, even in a consignment shop. I, I actually sold stuff in a consignment shop, worked a deal with a former consignment person who's no longer in business, which I shared about, and she, um, I, I bought some beautiful items. Some of them were Juicy Couture, some were Brighton, um, just beautiful items. She had so many beautiful things. She even had vintage charm bracelets in silver and metals and stuff, and I had to get some of those. There was a plane on one of them that had working propellers, and I really wanted it, so we worked a deal. But I sold a lot of my jewelry that I decided I didn't want, and people bought them. It was like uh, Ann Taylor or Loft, stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm kind of picky about stuff. I like to really look around. And sometimes I've just decided that's not me. You know, and I get my money back. And I got a check, and then I would work it out with the boss. So, anyways, here's another little... Um, and that includes purses and all kinds of stuff that I found. Trust me. Really fun things. Anyways, and clothing. But, um, yeah, mostly I'm a jewelry fiend. I love jewelry a lot. I kind of wanted to be just like my grandmother who would go to estate sales and garage sales and stuff and collect vintage things. And I learned a few things about the things I've collected. Like, uh, some things could be a Victorian good luck charm, which I didn't know. And it depends. Some people you can get in horrible arguments about what they are or how much they are or, oh, you can't afford it. I can't stand people like that. Anyway, <laughs> that's happened to me too and rude, very rude. You know, you'd think a seller would want to sell something like whatever they have, but they have a nerve, a lot of nerve telling a customer, oh, you can't possibly afford that. You don't know. This is $500. I'm like... I'm not going to buy it at your price, that's for sure. You know, just very rude comments from people. I guess they wanted a lot for whatever. And that was more in California. But 
It can happen here too sometimes. It can happen. Usually the people here are so willing to just go with you on it. They'll work something out with you. And if you don't want to work it out, just move on. Find somebody else who will be willing to sell it to you for a certain amount, you know. But yeah, I've learned a lot over the years. But anyways, here we go. Yep, this is a little crab in his shell. And it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, he's hanging out of his shell. And let me see what else we have. Let's see. I want to see if I can find something that you have not seen. There's a lot of doubles. I like doubles. What can I say? Oh, this is Irish good. There's different types of these Irish good luck charms. There's all different types. They have different things on them, like the wishbone or whatever. I have different ones. There's another copy. Oh, see, this is another one. That's in there. And the other one was loose, I think. Yeah, that's in there. And like I said, I think they're silver. There's another thing. Um, yeah, that's wings with a heart. And like I said, they're silver or they're stainless steel or whatever. There, there's one with the uh, box of chocolates that's really good from Forrest Gump. And um, I had to get those. Those are so cute. Oh, this is really cute. Check this out. The eggs, the waffle, and on the other side is, I think, a cup of coffee with a little heart in it. Is that cute or what? It's backwards right now, but yeah. The waffle, the egg, and the cup of coffee or cocoa, whatever you want to say it is. Um, let me see what else we have. Let's see, I know. I have, oh, this is cute. Oops, I just dropped him little ranger with the red nose he's so cute <laughs> and it's just it's probably going to be lighter on my wrist which I really don't care I think that's fine this is oh this is a Egyptian evil eye the tower the sphinx not the sphinx but the you know I forget what they call these guys but yeah that is the Egyptian things with the evil eye. So I like that. That's really neat. And let me see what else we have. Um, oh boy. There's a lot of stuff. And I do mean a lot of stuff. Oh, this is very cool. Hang on. Look at this. I got a couple of these. They were, some are higher priced. I want to let you know, but yeah, this is King Tut. Now I prefer getting the ones on sale or the ones that are like three twenty-seven on down, but I rarely would get a ten dollar or nine dollar charm because if it goes on sale, then I'm like, hello, I could have waited. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I just wait, and when they go on sale, hey, I go for it. <laughs> There's a really cute bead. It's different. Kind of reminds me of BB-8. I don't know if it's like the Death Star or whatever. They It could be the Death Star. I think that's what it is. They have some Star Wars ones that I like, and they sometimes will come in boxes. Here's a koala bear. Isn't he cute? He's a cutie. And he's got his little hole somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. So, more of these twinkle things and uh, I think I showed you these these are the typical beads um, this one is oh yeah this is another koala bear I think it's a different one he's surfing little surfboard guy let me see what else we have oh there's some in boxes I think they just didn't want to you know lose them here is I'm not sure what that is sorry about that could, I'm not sure. I think it's an animal. Could be an elephant. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is that Dumbo? Yeah, it could be Dumbo. Baby Dumbo. I'm not sure. It's cute. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to come back in a minute. 